To care about climate change, we don't have to change who we are. We don't have to change who we, you know, where we are on the political spectrum, where we go to church on Sunday. We're driving this car and the oil light came on two years ago and, the, and, and now the temperature light's on and the ocean light's on and the radiation light's on and we're just trucking down the road. We think we found some voices that might nudge you to some new and curious thinking. Beginning with a woman whose growing national impact comes from her credibility in two supposedly conflicting worlds. And so that's why I see faith and science as two sides of the same coin. If we're a human, which most of us are, if we live on this planet, which most of us do. I was in search of somebody, anybody, who's doing a good job of reducing that polarization. If we want a safe and secure environment in which to live, then those are the only values we need to care about climate change. My concern is that we are taking this information and we are forcing legislation upon people based on theoretical presumptions. It's not a matter of one more report will do it. One more national climate assessment, that's what will solve the problem. One more new analogy and people will get it. And it's not too soon to start talking about it. Even if it was 100 years from now that we're gonna be in big trouble, that's not too soon, that's still your grandkids. That's just a taste of immense possibilities, our weekly series on inspired projects and people we want you to know about. See that click here link below? Good. That's where you click to watch this full episode to find out more about immense possibilities.